few other issues here. Some people think this has to be formal, that coaching has to be formal. It has to be a formal sit down and it's going to take 30 minutes. I had one district manager in Denver, his name's Dave Brandt. He said, I went and visited one of my representatives out in North Dakota. He said it took three hours. Three hours, I said, Dave. I was waiting for him to yell at me, but he said, you know what? That was the best three hours I've ever had with this representative. This is a representative with enormous potential, was underperforming, and we just needed to have a good heart-to-heart, eyeball-to-eyeball, face-to-face discussion. And I was really waiting for him to yell at me for, for this coaching model, but he said that was the best three hours I ever had with this representative out in the field. Three hours could be one minute. One minute. With Pfizer Japan, the challenge is, boy, we have a lot of calls to make in a day. And it's nice to sit down at lunch and do a little bit of coaching or start the day out a little bit or wrap up the day with a good formal coaching session. But how do you coach during the day? And we tried to figure out a way, and actually we were able to do it, to coach in a minute. And the scenario is this. Let's say you just observed a call. Let's just say you observed a detail, and you're moving from one clinic to another right down the hallway and you literally have one minute with that representative. Now, it is going to be a little bit one way. It is going to be a little bit one way. In, in, in situational leadership terminology, it is going to be an S1 style, which could be a little problematic if you're dealing with a D2 kind of representative or a D3 representative. But can you coach in a minute? You can literally, let's say you just observed one of your representatives and they just didn't do a good job of closing. They didn't use those customary, rigorous Pfizer selling skills. They did a good job of product knowledge. They engaged the staff nicely when they walked in. You observed a lot of good things. You saw the handling of objections that were done pretty good, but just not a close. And let's say you've even been talking to this representative about it. I think you can walk out of that office and quickly, within 10 seconds, tell that representative, you know, you did a nice job of interacting with the staff. Wonderful on your product knowledge. I like that a lot. The one area, move to step two. Was that 10 seconds? 10 seconds. Move to step two. The one area that I didn't see was a good, hard, firm close. Now, one of the reasons that good, firm, hard closes are important is it makes a difference in the selling numbers. You can do a little impact. Just 10 seconds. Move to step four on this next call. On this next call, coming right up. Now, right down the hallway here, would you show me, would you be willing, you could almost do four and five together, plan and commitment. Would you be willing to show me how you do the close? Now, if you want, I can demonstrate how I would do it. You could work with that maybe another, an extra 10 or 15 seconds. Would you try it? Step five. Any concerns? Step six. Step seven. Listen, I think if you do that, you'll see a difference in your sales results. Are you good to go? One minute. Do you see how that could work? One minute. You could, you could literally almost go through every one of those coaching steps.